one thing starts today. It is XCON, just a few hours from now on the Grand Strand. It features exhibits on comic books, movies, TV shows, and superheroes. And that's where we find ABC 15's Amanda Kinzit live at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center where it all kicks off. You can find a little bit of everything here this weekend. I'm with Renee. So talk about what goes on here and how the convention center transforms for XCON. Well, there's a lot of different things. We have comic books, we have uh, Japanese culture, uh, anime, fashion. Um, we have uh, props uh, for different like horror sets and different things. There's something for everybody here. And tell me yeah. a little bit about uh, your outfit right here. Uh, this is uh, Japanese fashion. Um, I would consider this a, a sweet Lolita. Uh, it has lots of pastels, lots of details, lots of frills, very girly. Uh, it originates out of Japan uh, and is based on Rococo and Victorian era clothing. And this is yeah. kind of your thing. You know yes, this, this. Is, this is what I wear on a normal basis when I'm not working. <laughs> <Right. Yeah. laughs> um, so for people who have never been to something like this before, what can they expect? Uh, something for everybody. Uh, a little bit of something new for a lot of people, especially in this area. There's things from all sorts of different areas, Japan, um, China, all sort of uh, the Asian cultures. Uh, you'll find, again, comic books, uh, and you'll find a lot of celebrities um, from TV shows like 100, Power Rangers, and all sorts of cool stuff. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people come, and people can, you know, wait in line, get their autographs, yeah, talk to them for a sure. little bit. Kind of a, kind of a cool thing that's all happening right here yeah. at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center, guys. And speaking of those celebrities, we're going to visit with three different ones over the next three half hours. So stick around for the whole show. We're going to talk to three of the people appearing. And there's some big names. They've done some big projects. Oh, it's going to be pretty exciting. The event runs today through Sunday at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. I got to go out and check this out last year. It was awesome. Tons of fun. Doors open today at noon and 11 a.m. both tomorrow and Sunday. For a three-day badge, it costs 25 bucks, but That's kids it? 12 and under get in free. All right. Right? Man, 25 bucks for three days exactly. worth of stuff and you could go there for probably an entire week and not see everything that they have to offer. <laughs> There's a lot going on. And speaking of movies, if you're a fan of comic books and superhero films, this is the weekend for you. Thousands of people will pack the Myrtle Beach Convention Center for XCOM. That's where we find ABC 15's Amanda Kinsis with a preview of some of the people you'll get to see there. Good morning. That's right, Ciara. Hannah, thank you for joining us this morning. Oh, a Power yeah. Ranger. What's it like to be a Power Ranger? It is very strong and <laughs> powerful and all that sort. <laughs> uh, did, you, did you have to train for that? Yes, we had three months of training with the Japanese Sentis from the original show in Japan. So that was quite the experience. It definitely, our Ranger training was not easy. Um, definitely had some sprained ankles and kinked necks, but we're, uh, I'm not afraid to walk down the streets anymore. I was going to say, now you can walk <laughs> around and nobody can mess with you because if they do... They better watch out. Exactly. <laughs> you also do uh, some horror movies as well. Yes, I did Blood Lake, which was like an Animal Planet movie, which is kind of like a campy Sharknado one. But I just did a movie Pernicious, which is in Thailand. So I'm really excited for that. It's coming out in select theaters in June, June 19th. So I'm excited to see how the audience feels about it. It's a little more uh, creepy, kind of like The Grudge esque mix with Thailand. So I'm excited about that. Nice. Is it, is it neat for you to sit back and watch the movies that you've made? Because it's probably a little different. Oh, yeah. As an actor, you oh, you hate watching yourself. You're your worst critic. So to watch something and like, oh, do I really sound like that? Like, that's kind of weird. And especially with the horror film, you're not even watching as a horror film. You're just watching yourself, which is interesting to see you're going through these experiences and like that. I was running from what? Like, it's, it's weird. <laughs> like, I'm chopping off like this giant lamprey. Like, what is going on blood everywhere and it's definitely an interesting thing to watch and see from a third party. Um, Power Rangers is probably the weirdest thing to watch is Oh, look, I'm morphing. Oh, look, there's explosions coming behind me. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, well, I know you've got some fans out there, and they can yeah. all come see you this weekend right here at the convention center, yes, guys. Very cool. We were just looking up some of the parts she's played. She's done a lot, especially recently in Revenge, she appeared. Yep, she was in an episode of Revenge. She was in uh, a couple other TV episodes as well. Of course, the Power Rangers there as well. That's yeah. one of the reasons why she's out there at XCON. Lots of cool stuff. She's one of the many people you can go out there and see. The event starts today, runs through Sunday at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. Doors open at noon today and 11 both tomorrow and Sunday. For a three-day badge, it costs 25 bucks, and kids 12 and under get in free.
All right, we talked to Maddie about the forecast, making sure that it was going to be good for mm -hmm. everything we had going on. One of those events is XCON, and it starts just a few hours from now around the Grand Strand, featuring exhibits on comic books, movies, TV shows, superheroes, and one of those celebrities going to be right here in studio with us in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just about 20 minutes from now, and one of the celebrities is out live with ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. I know exactly who this is. Yes, actor Richard Harmon, you are in a ton of stuff. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just looking through, so people have probably seen you in several different things. Mm -hmm. um, the 100 yeah. right now is really big. Absolutely. You're known for that. And yeah. then we're actually in the pumpkin because one of Camera Man Keith's very favorite movies is Trick or Treat. That's and you right. are also in that. Yes, one of my personal favorites. Yeah, welcome to Myrtle Beach. Thank you. It's my first time ever being here. It's you, beautiful so far. Well, I'm glad you yeah. like it. Um, people are excited to come be able to see you here at XCON. Mm -hmm. You started acting when you were what 10 years 10 old? years old yeah wow what is that like as a kid um well the thing is my my whole family kind of has been doing it so my dad was a, is a has been a director for about 30 years my mom's a producer uh my sister acted before i ever started so i, I kind of just grew up kind of just following in, the family footsteps yeah they didn't want me to and they didn't want my sister to either and, I, and being in the industry now i get why um but I think they raised us properly, and we haven't fallen into any sort of those uh, those traps that can that can happen for young actors. Did you ever see yourself, you know, where you are now? Where do you see yourself in 20 never. years? Never. I never in a million years thought I'd kind of be at the place where I am now. But now that I'm here, I'm just trying to keep on moving and move on to the next uh, next chapter of the career. So is it a job for you, or is no. it just, like, fun and you get to... That's tough, actually. It's not because I love what I do, and every single day on set's just the... It's, there's no place I'd rather be than be on set. It's my favorite place on earth. It's like my Disneyland. Um, but at the same token, it's it's my job. I take it very seriously. I kind of have a one-track mind. And it's <laughs> just in my life, it's my job and really not much else. <laughs> it's yeah. always good to get paid for what you love Absolutely. to do. So um, yeah. come check them out. Plenty of celebrities right here at XCON at the convention center, guys. Oh, yeah, double thumbs up, I love I'd say it. so, for XCON. The event runs today through Sunday at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. Doors open at noon today and 11 a.m. both tomorrow and Sunday. For a three day badge, it costs $25, and kids 12 and under getting free. And we have an in studio interview with another celebrity appearing there coming up in about 20 minutes. Speaking of movies, if you're a fan of comic books and superhero films, this is the weekend for you. Thousands of people are going to pack the Myrtle Beach Convention Center for XCON. That's where we find ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth with a preview of some of those people that you'll get to meet and see there. Good morning. That's right. I'm with Amber Don Fox uh, from The Walking Dead, among other things. And uh, how is it to work on The Walking Dead? Uh, working on The Walking Dead was awesome. You know, there's so many things going on down in Atlanta, but all the actors want to get on The Walking Dead. So when I found out I had the chance, it was really exciting. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's such a popular show. It is. It's the biggest show right now. Right? Yeah. Right. So that has to be fun. Now, how long have you been acting? Um, I've been doing background acting since 2009, but I started taking acting classes at the beginning of 2014, so I've been doing speaking roles and auditioning since then. Okay, and you've got something out coming out soon that you actually shot in South Carolina. Right, Proverbs. We did an indie movie down here in Pro um, called Proverbs over in Columbia. Okay, do you do many um, comic uh, comic conventions? Um, I started I started back in February, and it's been really busy since then because the episodes I did of Walking Dead started airing November of last year. So it's kind of picked up since then. Right. Do you have a common question that everybody wants to ask you? Yeah. What was it like working with Norman Reedus? <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Now, do zombies scare you? No, not at all. No? Are you ready for a zombie apocalypse if it actually happens? Personally, no. No? Absolutely, I would die. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> then you are not on my survival team. <laughs> Absolutely not, no. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> One of the many people you'll get to meet out there this weekend. The event runs today through Sunday at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. Doors open at noon today and 11 tomorrow and Sunday for a three-day badge. Costs just 25 bucks. Kids 12 and under get in free. Now, Crystal, how about you introduce us to one of those other people we'll get to meet this weekend? Yeah, one of the dozens of celebrities appearing at XCON today and all weekend is here with us now. It's our good buddy Jason Johnson, known as Lumberjack. So good to see you. Yes, ma'am. You're so, you're so good to see you. Definitely. You know, you've been on the last couple of years with us, every yes, time before XCON. Yes, and uh, so you might remember him. You were on Sweet Home Alabama a couple yes, of years ago. It's where we first met you. Last year you <clears> came back for XCON. So what have you been doing in the last year since the last XCON? Um, the latest thing was uh, on the Weather Channel. Three scientists walk into a bar. Um, I got to be on the episode where I was asking them questions about tornadoes and stuff. Um, 
and then just going to different events with celebrities and hanging out with them. Um, Definitely. And you've also been working on a book, you told me. I mean, it's not just about film and TV for you. Uh, not anymore, no ma'am. Uh, for the last seven years, I've been writing good morning messages every morning. So we're trying to compile them into some books, uh, like Chicken Soup, where you have different inspirational, romantic, uh, and trying to get that done. And then, uh, Oh, you first... got this shirt that yes. threw me way off, yes, because you're supposed to read it from the bottom <clears throat> up. The elevator is here, it just doesn't go to the top. It yeah. totally threw me off. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but that's just one of a couple shirts. You <clears throat> also have the I Love Lumberjack shirts. Yes, ma'am. In pink and in purple. So uh, cute. So, yes, ma'am. So, I mean, basically, you're an entrepreneur. I should mention, you are from Dillon originally. You are yes, a hometown boy, kind of doing all of these projects. Um, you've been on a lot of different TV shows and movies as well that you've been promoting at XCON over yes, the years. <clears throat> a lot of them, uh, Ticking Clock with Cuba Gooding Jr., uh, Arena with uh, Samuel L. Jackson and Kellen Lutz, um, and then the list just goes down. Definitely. Um, IMDb is the best way to look at everything I've been on uh, or my website. Because you've been kind of putting your feelers out and trying all sorts of different roles and characters. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I like to be um, this variety of characters. That way I can just do everything. Absolutely. Hey, that, yeah, good commodity there. And you're going to be at XCON today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Pretty much kind of throughout the day, people can come say hi, right? Yes, ma'am. And they'll have, I have an um, eight-foot uh, vertical banner where they'll see my face before they see me. You will not be able to miss Jason Johnson, but he is known as Lumberjack. And you can find out more about him and his projects at therealumberjack.com. The yes, ma'am. All right. He's also on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for coming. Bye again. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.